Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is Channel News for the wee morning hours of the 10th of November 2020. So, a lot of people saw the post I put on the community page in the middle of the light last night. It was not like some sort of clickbait type thing. That's how I was thinking at the time. That's still sort of along the lines, but I now, unlike then, have a plan as to what I'm gonna do. There were a lot of suggestions put forth in the comments section of that. I will be addressing some of them after I tell you what is gonna be done, because just to, you know, before people start turning off the video, this is what's happening. I'm going to continue two days a week through until April 1st. At that time, I will assess what the situation is with the other channel. In all likelihood, no matter what's going on in the other channel, I will continue through my work season with a one video a week sort of hangout deal. Mind you, it will not be live. I do not have the equipment capability for that. So I'll continue through that, and then come the end of my work season, I will reassess the other channel again. Now, at that point, which would be sometime in September of next year, a couple things could happen. I could decide that it is no longer feasible for me to keep paying out of pocket for all of this, and one of two things happened there. One, I just continue with the one video a week hangout type deal. Or two, I decide that this channel has become the weakest link and the channel stays up. All the reviews are still there. Uh, I, I can't imagine anybody's watched all of them. There's There's got to be close to like 500 now. Reviews. There's over 600 videos. I'm just talking about reviews. So... It'll stay up as a reference point, which is the point of this channel. Note that I just said that. This is a reference channel. Um, or the other channel's going well, and then I pick back up to two days a week after my work season ends, and I start putting into play some of the playlists that I have planned. I've had them planned out for over a year now. Money does not allow. Uh, what are they? For instance, face-off videos where there's two products and the differences between the two and what I like more about whichever one, etc. So, short version, keep going with two videos a week until April 1st. Cut down to one video a week through my work season. Make the second and final overview decision sometime in September of next year. Why I have decided to do that. I don't want to cut subscribers short. I don't want to just bail out out of the blue just because I'm having a bad day or bad week. Um, I think I may actually regret it farther down the line. So I don't want to do that. Tell you the truth, I got through Christmas in product already sitting here right now. So you know, like, what am I going to do with some of this stuff? Because most of it I would not use of my own. I Very little of this product, with the exception of the original series, where I was not familiar with products at all, very little of the stuff I review here I actually use. I, I try to use as much of the chew as I can, because of the prices of it, but really, I mean, there's a lot of money going out the door here for stuff that, uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, I save the containers, but the stuff gets tossed afterwards. There's, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's just, it, it is what it is. Um, so, moving on. That, that is the plan. That is the plan. I will stick by it. Uh, as I said, I have material sitting here for through Christmas. I just sent in three small um, allotments money to Hoss 304, who is doing all my sourcing at the moment. 
Uh, so he should have, and actually I didn't hear about the last 20 that I sent, but you should have in total, minus anything you've bought in the last three days, $100. So if you could uh, certify that that is the case at somewhere here or, you know, email, whatnot. Um, and that $100 will probably carry through the better part of whatever's left out of December, January, and probably into February. So there were a lot of suggestions, comments. Uh, all of them were put forth in a reasonable fashion. There was nothing that I felt was being put out as to be offensive or anything like that. So I will entertain them and give my answers. There were a number of suggestions that just simply will not happen. It's just not going to happen. Um, okay, so what's one? Well, I don't know if there was anything actually in that comments thread, but this is a reoccurring one. Alcohol. Okay. I had a major, major, major drinking problem for 20 years. You will not be seeing any reviews of alcohol here. Okay. Uh, and when I say major problem, I uh, major, like I can remember being on runs when the runs ended, we had bodies. Yeah, that, that kind, like no play around. But the, the, the number one, besides my own well-being reason that you would never see that is because if I did drink again, you would never see me again. Okay, because something like this here, what we got going on here, this would be near immediately deemed candy ass. You'd never see me. I don't have time for this. <laughs> nonsense. Anything that I, and I deem a lot of stuff when I'm drinking as nonsensical. Nonsense, no time for that. You'd never see me again. And probably at some point during the next few days, I'd go, you know what? These guys are just mining my mind for information. Let's put an end to that. And then the whole channel would disappear. And I'm being very serious. That That's why there will be no alcohol. Pipe tobacco. I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in doing pipe tobacco reviews. And here's why. Number one, in my surroundings in this room, I do not have a ventilation. If there is one thing I cannot stand in this world, it's secondhand smoke. So because of where I am, it's not happening. Personal bias, not against pipe tobacco, but pipe tobacco reviews. I find them cringy. Terribly, terribly cringy. Um, there was a time when men smoked pipes, and now that time would seem to have passed. It's sort of guys in their cars, sometimes hipsters, you know, waxing poetic about, you know, the nonces of the smoke. And that. It's just like, dude, really? Wow. Okay. Okay, this is a pipe tobacco review of half and half. This is half and half. It is half burly and half bright Virginia. I'm going to shove it in the pipe here. I'm going to light it on fire. I'm going to inhale this smoke. It tastes like tobacco. End of review. That's it, okay? But a lot of these people, you know, they don't inhale. Mind you, tobacco smoke is the number one cause of mouth cancer. So holding in your mouth is sort of, yeah, dude, you're, you're, not, you're not convincing me that you're like some brilliant, intelligent person by just holding in your mouth. Oh, I'm never going to get lung cancer. Yeah, but you're probably securing mouth and throat cancer. So it's like one of those deals like that. Nah. Anyway, I find pipe tobacco reviews ridiculously cringy. So that will not be happening because I am not becoming that. Um, what else was there? That I should mix it up the way I behave. Like uh, this is too boring and formal and it's not really me. I have absolutely terrible news for you. I am actually in real life 
this formal and boring. I don't take it all on as my own personal fault. A lot of it has to do with the demographic that I am part of, which is like a grouping of people. They're called adults, and I blame a lot of it on that. The problem with adults is like around early 20s, you sort of just get boring. Some people are able to push it a little bit farther. I tried using alcohol to push it way, way out, but eventually it catches up with the body and you got to stop. And then you wake up one morning and you're like, well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll read the news. Yeah, so like there are plenty of other channels that if you want to watch a clown parade, they're out there. They're fairly easy to find. I don't even need to mention them by name. Um, but that's where you find that. That's not happening here, ever. That's never happening. True story. Um, uh, those comments like about like how I'm like acting too proper, what, it always amazed me because I don't know what it is. It's happened like two times before and they always come in at the bottom of a thread after like dozens of other comments saying how much they appreciate my formal serious style. <laughs> like, dude, did you just go like right to the bottom or did you not read the comments at all? I, I read the comments, but you know. Anyway, so that, yeah, there's not gonna be any like, uh, there's not gonna be any attitude or behavioral changes. That's, no, that's not happening. So basically what you got here is what the thing was about last night was me not feeling like this is... Not that I needed to pay off what this channel set out to do. And there's a lot of people that haven't been here from the beginning, so they wouldn't have even heard the videos about me talking about what this channel was. There was a number of goals that I had set for myself with this channel. A lot of them were like personal goals, like personal to my person. And all of those were met by late in September 2019, okay? And they were all met. Being an internet personality and having a bunch of fanboys running around and having thousands of subs, there was a sub goal. It was 1,000, which was like 3,000 ago. So... You know, that, that was even met. As for, you know, the funding, of, I'm not trying to make money doing this. I have no interest in making money doing this. I, and thank God, because this computer would have gone dark a while ago from not being able to pay my internet bill. The money aspect is about it not costing me money or as much money anymore. And that, that's it, okay? So I had been doing the raffles, which had some limited success. And I have had some private larger donations, which I actually am holding on some of them now. They're sort of off on a PayPal side thing in case this computer completely catches on fire or something. And I have to bribe a family member to buy me one. So there, there's that. There's been some limited success. I opened the second channel because it was going to review content that could be monetized. And I thought, you know what, these guys are probably tired of hearing me acting like a used car salesman trying to drum up funds to keep the channel going. Why don't I do that? I'll open up a second channel, I'll promote it here. I have almost 4,000 subs. I should be able to get to the monetization mark fairly quickly if only like one fourth of the people pay attention. No. <laughs> Spectacular fail on that. Uh, I opened the channel up. I did as much personal promotion for it as I felt I could handle because I also find personal promotion cringy. And uh, it's up to like 350 now, but the initial intake was like 170. 170 people listened to my plea out of like 3,900. 
Now, if you want to talk about a lesson in redundancy. So, you know, and then that also answers the point, well, why don't you do different type reviews? I am. They're on another channel. And on another channel, I said, there's endless opportunities as to what I can review over here. It's starting out with soda and beef jerky, but there's going to be bubble gum soon, and there's like endless possibilities. So there's that. Uh, so hopefully this answers everybody's questions. You know, some of the stuff I've said, there's going to be those that don't want to hear it. Sorry. This is what is on offer. This is not going to alter significantly in any direction. If you want to see stuff that's different, there's the other channel, which I'm not even going to link at the end of these videos anymore, to tell you the truth, because it's just one more step I have to go through, and I'm not getting paid to do this. Anyway, um, I do hope you all well. I will be around on, I'm, I'm looking to see if I have it here, and I don't think I do. I'll be here on Thursday evening, as usual. It will not be a short format chew review, though, and I'm not seeing the product that I was going to tease for it, but it will be a little bit different. Uh, there will also be coming a select number of long format dip reviews. They will be put on the original playlists. It is just the rebranded products of Silver Creek and Kayak. In the metal lids, silver dropped off the creek. We will see how they match up to the original reviews of those products. It will be limited. There's a few of them, four maybe at tops. Anyway, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.